good morning students we are going to continue with this short story the gift of the magi by o henry now yesterday we had studied that uh, dela had sold her hair to get enough money to buy a present for her husband jin and she came back and she try to curl up her hair so that she looks presentable and jim does not dislike her and uh, she had purchased a beautiful watch chain for jim now we'll study further jim came to home in the evening it was 7 o'clock the coffee was made and the frying pan was on the back of the stove hot and ready to cook the chops Jim looked thin and very serious. He was only 22 and to be burdened with a family. He needed a new overcoat and he was without gloves. Jim stopped inside the doors as immovable as a settler at the scent of a quail. His eyes were fixed upon Della and there was an expression in them that she could not read it terrified her it was not anger nor surprise nor disapproval nor horror nor any of the sentiments that she had been prepared for he simply stared at her fixedly with that peculiar expression on his face so now we see that when jim comes home and he looks at dela he sees that uh, she has cut her hair and uh, she has uh, a new hairstyle and he is uh, the expression that is there in his eyes it is uh, neither of surprise nor of disapproval it is just something else something that dela just cannot understand now why that expression is there that will be revealed now dela told jim that she sold her hair she said that her hair grows fast again jim brought a gift for dela they were the combs the set of combs side and back that dela had worshiped for long in a broadway window beautiful combs pearls tortoise shell with jewel rims just the shade to wear in the beautiful vanished here they were expensive combs she knew and her heart had simply craved and yearned toward them without the least hope of possession and now they were hers but the tresses that should have adorned the coveted adornments were gone so now we realize that the expression in jim's eyes why that there was that expression it was because he had bought beautiful combs for her hair and uh, when he realized that she had cut her hair and sold them then this a uh, feeling a uh, certain sort of a feeling which cannot possibly be explained in words that feeling crept into his whole being and uh, that is what he felt dela showed jim his present he told her that he sold the watch to get the money to buy her combs now dela had sold her hair and jim had sold the watch dela had brought watch chain for jim and jim had brought combs for dela now obviously the combs were of no use to dela and the watch chain was of no use to jim so when jim realized that he was also disheartened but then he just felt that 
he uh, realized the situation and he accepted it and dela also accepted the situation of all who give gifts these two were the wisest of all who give and receive gifts such as they are wisest everywhere they are wisest they are the magi now the writer is trying to say that uh, it seems that uh, jela and dim have uh, jela and dela and jim have behaved childishly and uh, they have uh, brought presents which have turned out to be useless but if we uh, look at their presents from a human point of view we would feel that they are the wisest people because they think from their heart dela sacrificed her most cherished possession for the happiness of her husband and jim also uh, sacrificed his most treasured possession that is the watch for the uh, happiness of his wife so they thought from the heart and uh, maybe the gifts that they purchased uh, were of uh, uh, not uh, not of use for uh, one another but um, the love and affection that they had for one another was uh, uh, more than enough to make their uh christmas a very happy and a very merry christmas and make their lives also full of happiness because they loved one another uh, with truth and sincerity so this is the story uh, i hope you have enjoyed the story in uh, tomorrow's class we will study another story that is all for today thanks